46 seconds of Transil logos. This is the exact same logo gag as the first movie. If you're gonna logo us to death anyway, maybe don't be so lazy. After a minute of logos and another 30 seconds of cloud titles, we take another 20 seconds zooming into the castle. Are we sure this movie isn't called Hotel Tranquilvania? Cause I'm already feeling very sleepy. Thunder crashes in front of a spooky castle cliche. I'm not sure exactly where these monsters are tracking in all this mud from, but apparently it doesn't even matter, because the carpet is white as Tim Tebow's wedding dress again mere seconds later. Also, between this and the first movie, it seems like keeping this lobby clean is a real issue. At this point, probably just need to go with laminate floors and bubble wrap on all the furniture. Why would Dracula and Mavis even be in the pictures if they weren't going to show up in them? How about how hot mine is? You got a date? Yeah. She's invisible, that's why you can't see her. Then why even suggest your friends should comment on how hot the date is if they can't see her? Also, as bad and obvious as that joke and most of the jokes in this franchise are, at least someone didn't say something about Griffin's date being from- This is the one from Canada. Damn it! Why the hell are the wolf pups attacking this little girl? And beyond that, is matrimonial child mauling supposed to be funny somehow? This creepy menage a paw on the dance floor makes it clear that these witches believe the old wives' tale about big feet. Or maybe they just looked up- Human, monster, unicorn. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Drac. They've only made made unicorn marriage legal in four countries so far. I, I would eat a bucket of garlic to fly with you. But that would kill Dracula, so this is an odd declaration to make to his daughter. It's just a little harder to catch my breath since I'm pregnant. What? Hold on, movie. Where was this batty bump a minute ago when Mavis was in human form? Also, I have so many questions about pregnancy-based bat-human transformation. Does the fetus transform from a human fetus to a bat fetus? Or just a smaller human fetus? Does the baby being a hybrid change anything about its ability to transform? What if the stress of delivery made her transform while giving birth? Look, movie, if you don't want me going there, don't show me a pregnant bat. Also, also, cloud sitting! Just have some monster ball soup. So, monsters eating other monsters is apparently a thing. Everyone's just okay with occasional monstabolism then. Dracula's little dividend! Little Dennis is a year old now. Wow! Yes, we saw the candle, so no need to double exposition us by saying information that literally anyone at the party already knows. So are Dracula's crew just at the hotel all the time now? I never understood why they weren't in the first place, since the hotel is supposed to be a safe haven for monsters. But according to the first film, they only came out once or twice a year. Just in case you were worried that Adam Sandler had wandered off brand at all. How is Mavis's information still able to be seen so clearly on a height chart that was created over 118 years ago? Also, this movie wants to be a movie about Drac having a five-year-old grandkid, but doesn't have the monster balls to trust the audience to fill in the blanks. So instead, we spend the first 15 minutes in what amounts to a life montage that includes a wedding, pregnancy, birth, and each birthday. Of course, it might just be padding its runtime to try and hit 90 minutes. Minutes. Either way, I'm bored AF. We just saw that this kid is already two, and most babies get their first teeth around six months. So if I were in the Drac pack, I'd be less worried about fangs and more worried that my kid might not ever grow teeth at all. What is that? What's the noise? It, it's on me! It's just the cell phone I got you. Why would Johnny get Dracula the cell phone and slip it in his clothes without telling him? Is everyone bred through sitcom hijinks in this universe? Are we never allowed to be alone again? Are we seriously watching a text conversation happen in real time? I swear this movie could have been called Hotel Transylvania 2 Unfriended. Yeah, got it. Maybe you should just get Bluetooth. Okay. Bluetooth, come over here! Jesus, where did they get these monsters? The cat skulls? If I show you I can bust a move, will you try to fly then? Yeah, but where's music? Instant Tunes has never been a vampire power. Come on, sweetie, back to bed. Back to bed? It's already after 8 p.m. Don't you remember the new sleep schedule? Actually, Mavis, you're the one that may need your memory jog, because according to this board, 8 p.m. appears to be the beginning of free time, and one of the only hours during the day that doesn't involve sleeping. Also, what's up with no more singing songs before bedtime? I'd love to hear the story behind that. Actually, at this point, I'd just love to hear any story other than this one. We don't want the pups to have too much. Sugar. If this was really an issue, then why have the candy at all? Did he just cover me with birdseed? What the f*** is this power? Did I miss something about vampires having the ability to manifest large piles of birdseed? Go drunk, movie. You're home. Frank, you're a genius! You know how some jokes get funnier the longer they go on? This is not one of those. And he'll be fanging it up in no time! If he's not a vampire by his birthday, it ain't happening. Thank you, hanging expositional shrunken head, for not only expositing on us so thoroughly, but also for reminding us that all this plot nonsense could be solved by simply waiting a week to find out if the boy grows fangs or not. All he needs is time with his vampire. Vampa? Vampire Grandpa. Hey there, movie. We'll handle the silly word combinations around here. When you've already got one person doing it, there's no need for a Portman 2. Now remember the plan. Just keep her distracted and happy, but not too happy. Capiche? Fun fact, keep them distracted and happy, but not too happy was also the elevator pitch for this movie. Is it shorts weather where we're going? Jeez, I hope not. My body isn't swimsuit ready yet. I've never seen Murray wear anything but bandages, so how would swimsuit readiness even be an issue? We can't say nothing about this? No, we don't have time for zingers. Just plenty of time for running gags that aren't funny the first time. How do you click 
in the stupid car seat. Doesn't really matter if the car seat itself isn't hooked to anything. The animation in this film and the first one is great, and there are so many great visual gags like this. Too bad the same can't be said for the story and screenplay. And is there no one that has the balls to just tell Sandler no every now and then? I mean, this is essentially the animated version of Grown Ups 2. Let me just quickly call home. Ah, oh, don't do that. It's only 1 a.m. there. Transylvania is 10 hours ahead of the Pacific Coast time, which means it would be 3 p.m. in California, and the sun should be out and bright, and Mavis should be charcoal. Also, did Drac not have a plan for Mavis calling? Because surely he realized Mavis would call and check on Dennis. The dark forest of Slobosia. Jesus, there are a lot of humans out in the park doing things at one in the morning. Adorable, yes. Not scary. But does Dracula really care if Dennis is scary? I thought the main concern was just that he was more vampire than human. I swear the only reason they brought searching for Blobby Squisher here on this road trip is for the occasional sight gag to distract us from how unfunny any of this story actually is. Well, I haven't done this in years. We don't need to kill anymore. We have Pop-Tarts. Since I'm sending both of these monstrosities this week, I happen to know for a fact that you single-handedly ate an entire flock of sheep in the last one. So don't play innocent with me, Wolfenstein. Some werewolf. Did you actually say the word growl? Are we sure Wayne actually is a werewolf, though? We've never actually seen his human side, despite the fact that he should only be a human in wolf's clothing once a month. No! It's my frisbee! I How exactly is Wolf Spitzer simultaneously saying this line, holding the frisbee between his teeth and growling? Is he a wolf as well as a polyphonic ventriloquist? This place is open all night, right, sir? Yes. This rainbow teeth joke makes no sense. Not only were her teeth white a split second ago, why on earth would each individual tooth be coated a different color? Murray's going to conjure up the biggest sandstorm you've ever seen. Glad they chose to explain abilities of a character one movie later, after having him do a bunch of in the previous film with no explanation. Look at these cute kids! Where are the parents of these kids? I mean, it's strange enough that there are this many of them out skate parking at night, but not a single one of them has a conscientious enough parent or guardian to keep an eye on them. Bike park patron conveniently has a helmet that fits Mavis. That's my girlfriend, suckers! Your wife, Johnny. How does anyone who has been married for almost five years still make this mistake? Oh no! Oh no no no! It's Mavis! Let's just take a few seconds to admire the complete lack of f this movie gives on maintaining the consistency of taking a vampire's picture. First, Mavis shouldn't even have a profile picture that would pop up when she's calling. Second, when Drac answers, he shouldn't show up in the vamp Skype at all, because the camera wouldn't be able to send any visual of them to each other. Third, go to hell, movie! Mommy! I happy! Baby Drac Drac somehow sleeps through all this. How are Drac's fingernails gone? Do they only appear when he's trying unsuccessfully to use a cell phone? Yeah, we're over here now. <laughs> Had to scale it down. Insurance. We are vampires. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. We have a couple of mixed families in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd invite them over. This monster as a metaphor for race and prejudice idea isn't bad, but it comes out of nowhere, disappears just as quickly, and doesn't have the fangs to really say anything important beyond a few stereotypically lame jokes. What happened to Michael Row Your Corpse Ashore? Or Old Nick Werewolf Had an Axe? They are horrible jokes that got cut out of the script. We shouldn't be up here, Drac. Seriously, why are you up there? It's one thing if Dracula thinks he has to take all these drastic measures, but why would it require all six of you to climb to the top? Here. We. Go! Whee! And for the next 30 seconds, the movie will make lame jokes about how the kid is still falling. Considering people fall about 500 feet every six seconds, it means he should have gone about 2,500 feet by now. Or put another way, the height of two Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other. I mean, I know they climb for a bit, but there's no way they could get high enough for that distance to make sense. We have to call the boy's mother. No, that ain't happening. And why should it be? Dennis isn't a member of the camp. They're just visitors. The counselors aren't required to do anything in regards to him. His mother's already Nazi cuckoo. First of all, insensitive much? Also, that's your daughter you're talking about, asshole. What is this movie? This was recorded mere minutes ago, and it already has 116 million views. Tay-Tay doesn't even pull that kind of number in the first full day. Is that the mother? If Drac is the one who just smashed his phone, why would Mavis's phone look this cracked? Even if it damaged the glass by the lens, it wouldn't look like this. I'm coming back to the hotel right now, and you better be there, or I swear, Dad, you're gonna be very sorry. Well, Mavis has a trip of a little over 6,200 miles ahead of her, so if Dracula doesn't make it back to the hotel before she does, he deserves whatever happens to him. So why can't Dracula just fly back to the hotel with Dennis like Mavis is doing with Johnny? There's something I can't unsee. I still have some cloud on me. Gotta do a selfie. Johnny, not now. When did Mavis become such a killjoy? How would a selfie in any way keep them from getting there any quicker? <gasps> no! This works. I see you've added seeing around corners to your zoom and enhance eyesight cliche. Fancy. Sheesh. Poor Vamp Kid 666 lost over 15 million subscribers since he posted the first video. Seriously, how hard is it to put the tiniest amount of thought into these details? She was killed by angry humans. Oh. Awkward. Phantom of the Operatic Overkill. There is my grandpa Vlad. Oh, you have a grandpa? Yeah, 
He'll be at the party. I invited him. Yes, because all great movies introduce an entirely new character and plotline in the last 20 minutes of the movie. And no movie, you don't get points for dropping his name once or twice earlier. My dad cannot know you're a human or any of your family. And Mavis was made well aware that Vlad would not be okay with her having a human or half-human son. So why would she have invited him with all her husband's human family at the hotel? Breathing, Mavis! Considering the racial allegory in this movie is shoehorned in, this monster face act is making me very uncomfortable. You look like you got the baboon's butt on your head! I'm sure the 1992 Bram Stoker's Dracula jokes killed with the kids in 2015. When does this happen? I got a book fair in half an hour. Where could he possibly be in half an hour? Downtown Transylvania? Cow, how goes it? Frankenstein. Actually, I'm technically Frankenstein's monster. You've been going with the Frankenstein moniker for almost two films now, not to mention the whole Johnny Stein bit in the first one. You don't get to backtrack now, movie. Dennis might not be a monster yet, but he's definitely got super speed, considering how quickly he ran down the bridge and up on the hill. We don't hate humans anymore, and they don't hate us! Although the movies haven't exactly explained why this is, but the story needs it to be true, so all hail convenient plotting. You're the nicest boy I know. And the only boy she knows. I don't know why I ever invited you. None of us do. In fact, one could argue this entire chain of events is Mavis' fault. Well, well, well. The little human and his pet. It sure is nice of this human killing machine to do some monster monologuing before digging in. Humans don't belong with monsters. Then explain Gene Simmons, Bella. Explain Gene Simmons. <laughs> what a surprise, said no one who ever watched this movie. But since Dennis is clearly a vampire, what is Bella's beef at this point? Also, apparently when you get your monster powers, they come downloaded straight into you Matrix style, with no training needed. Balls. I didn't do that. Callbacks are fun, but Jesus, these movies expect you to remember a lot. I've had to watch these pretty much back to back, and I still had to do some research to make sure my eyes were dotted correctly and my fangs were crossed. These monsters seem to have very specific knowledge of the anatomical abilities of Blobby. Yeah! Suddenly appearing bike stuff suddenly appears. Also, Dennis I'm Coming is exactly what my college girlfriend screamed at me at the apex of our first sexual encounter together. Even though my name is not Dennis. Why does Dennis keep his hair as a bat when Mavis and Dracula keep none of their features? Daddy, you just saved a human. And got over thousands of years of a deep-seated belief super quick. This continues to get sequels. These pipes are clean. Now this is flying, Denise V. That wasn't flying, that was falling with style. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. What dive is he gonna do? The triple Lindy. I'm Ron Swanson. It comes in 48 flavors. We have to try them all. Tune in, Tokyo. Tune in, Tokyo. Your mother sucks and hell.